so now that we've added a picture background to this little rectangle shape and stretched it out to the slide, we can now use one of these circles to cut out a hole in that rectangle shape, which will be important for our next step. So first, let me just get one of these other circles out of the way. And this is going to be where our globe is going to sit. So we want to make this a little bit bigger. And we want to make sure to center it in the middle of our slide. So I'm going to go to the Arrange tab and choose Align Center and then Align Middle to get that circle smack dab in the center of my slide. Now, to use this shape to cut a hole through our other shape, we have to bring up a tool that is hidden by default in PowerPoint 2010. So to display that tool, we will need to go up to our Quick Access Toolbar and choose the option More Commands. That will bring up our PowerPoint Options dialog box to the Quick Access Toolbar customization window. And here I'm going to choose the menu All Commands, which will show every single command that's available to you in PowerPoint. And I'm going to scroll all the way down until I see the option Combine Shapes. With Combine Shapes selected, I can click the Add button to add it over to my Quick Access Toolbar area, and then click OK. And now you can see I've got a little button in that Quick Access Toolbar. But you notice how it's shaded a light gray? The only time that that tool will be activated is when you have more than one shape selected. So let's select our background first. You always want to select the object you want to keep first, and then hold down the Control key and select the circle. Now that we have two objects, drawn objects specifically selected, we can use that Combine Shapes tool and choose the Shape Subtract option to cut a hole right in our sky rectangle. And that is how you can cut a circle out of a rectangle shape in PowerPoint 2010.